Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Antimatter Chemistry. And I've been busy. I set up the task screen for uh, energy sacrifice. I had it sitting in the background while I was doing other stuff. Um, this, this has filled up pretty quickly actually. It's been about two hours real time, maybe. And it is at 99%, so it should finish. Uh, should finish pretty soon. So it, it didn't take that long to fill up. And all I've done is put two furnace generators. So I'm sure if I'd put more furnace generators, it would have filled up a lot faster. So it took a lot less time than I thought it did. Also, um, last week, I was trying to make uh, hardened glass. I can't remember why. At the time it was very important, I can't remember, but um, I discovered and one of my subscribers did point out to me that to make hardened glass, uh, hardened glass, there was a recipe that involved, oh there you go, it's just finished, I started recording just in time, but there was a recipe for hardened glass, where is it, hardened cell frame, hardened that involved just, um, just, let me see, just pulverized stuff. If I can see it when it comes round, but it just involved a blend and not anything else to make the hardened glass itself. Uh, block glass hardened. Oh, that was it. I just saw it. I don't know if there's any way to, to make it go back once it started um, uh, cycling through. So I'm just a little bit uh, excited. Falling over my hands, that's what I want. Alright, so pyrothium dust, two pulverized obsidian and lead would give you hardened glass. And then you can use that to make everything else. That is the bit that I didn't see. So that's why it took me so long to, to work it out last week. So yes, I cannot remember what I was trying to make, but that is what you need. You can make it with a blend and that would give you the hardened glass and then you can use it for other, in other recipes. So this week, do we get anything for that energy sacrifice thing? Um, chapter two, I've been doing some of chapter two. I did the melon choice reward a reinforced satchel traveler's knapsack two hardened upgrade kit uh traveler's goggles traveler's uh hardened upgrade kit i think that i want that because that's you know that's something i can always use um i started making the fer fertilizer i haven't gotten very far but i've started it's really, really... I've forgotten how grindy it was, which was why we'd stopped doing it. Um, I also hooked up um, item ducks to and the aqueous accumulator to our evaporators, taking out the salts and bringing the salts into our storage system. So we have a little bit of automation, which is pretty cool. And also, finally, I'm in the process of making a mob farm. Because if you remember, um, where are we? Chapter 2, Chapter 3. We made a drop of evil. And, uh, yeah, you can, you can totally make a mob farm with it in the overworld. I didn't think you could, but then I saw a video where they made a mob farm in the overworld. And it's like, I can do that. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm making an, a mob farm. Oh, I also grew melons, as you can see. I made melon seeds from... Uh, you can make it with the with, with the chemical combiner. Lemon, me, lemon seeds? Melon seeds. Melon. If you, let me see, chemical combiner, triglycerides and sucrose, triglycerides you get from wool or, what did I get it from? It wasn't from wool. Actually, did I make wool? I may have done. 
Yes, I made wool because we have string. So I made wool, got triacylglycerides, and then turned that around, made it into melon seeds, and then shift grew them until I had 16. And now I've just left the ones that I had. So, at the moment, I am trying to... Oh, what, what else did we have to do for Atum? Oh, we can click on this. The gods of Atum smile upon you. Quest completed. And we get... Oh, we unlock more recipes. Woohoo! You unlocked stage energy. Okay. What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. So what's the next thing we have to do? Create a scarab. And we get bread. Demon ingots are obtained by throwing gold ingot into a one by one lava pit with eight never bricks around surrounding the lava on all faces. Okay, we can do that. But let's make the nether, the nether farm, the mob farm first. Because I, like I said, I was in the middle of that. And it's a fun little aside to do before we actually open the gates to a tomb. Because I've seen what lies beyond and I'm not looking forward to it. So, um, yeah. So we need a little light-hearted comedy before we get into the serious killing thing. Right, what was I waiting for? I was waiting for nether bricks to burn. Burn? Oh, we've run out of fuel. And I wanted to make black glass. Alright, what am I looking for? I have no idea what I'm looking for. I'm looking for wood. Um, let's get out. Right, and that, and that. You can burn. Actually, I have seared bricks. So what I might do, I'll finish off the roof and then the sides I will put in seared bricks. Maybe? Yeah. Because I want some dark glass to able to see inside. But other than that, I think we should be okay. Um, and then we have dark glass here, so we can see what's going on. Okay, um, F7. If I hit F7, it's not looking too bad. We need to make vector plates as well. So this is the inside of our mob farm. We will use the drop of evil to convert actually what I might do and we need spikes yes we have we can get access to dirt there so we can we can do that now um, okay that's fine we need vector plates how many do we need Um, probably need two more spikes as well. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And we need 25 vector plates. Ouch. Yeah, that's not going to be fun when we put the vector plates in. And right. Right, vector plates. So we need stone, iron, and sugar. So we get eight and eight. That's 24. All right. It's more than 25, but it was either be one. Are we going? We might be one short. I mean, we might end up being one short. I don't know. Okay, oh no, no, but we need... Okay, anyhow, we'll work out what we're doing. 
So we want the plates. Can it not go into... Okay, it's not... Okay, so we didn't need 25. Um, how do you turn... Nope. How do you turn these around? I've totally forgotten. There's a way to turn these around. Do you need to shift click it? Where's the... Where's the vector plates? Have they all gone into the vacuumulator? There's only one. You guys saw that, right? I had 20 something vector plates in my hand and they've all disappeared. Oh, there they are. Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. I was, I yeah, never mind. Ignore that. You didn't see that momentary lapse into whatever that was. All right, so if I stand here, nope. How do you turn these around? I know there is a way to do it. That's annoying, because I know there is. All right, let's just pretend. All right, let's take you out. And there, there. No, you're facing the wrong way. I know somebody's going to be re going to be really nice and tell me what I'm doing wrong, but I don't know. It's been quite a while since I use vector plates in anything. Does it depend on? Does it depend on where you place it on the block? It could be. Nope, not today. Um, there. I have to be careful it doesn't slam me into the into the watches columns, the spikes, because the spikes hurt. I think the last time I made a mob farm with vector plates, I had some kind of powered flight. Nope. Ouch. So it was a whole lot easier than this. And I know you guys are probably laughing. Ouch, 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 ouch. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How did you die, Shane? Yeah, I was, um... I got massacred by spikes. Oh my word. Oh, no. You, you guys didn't see that, right? That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Did not happen. If we don't talk about it, it didn't happen. All right, put that there. And then the only problem now is gonna be in the corners. I'm, yeah, I know, oh, never mind, corners, and I thought, yeah, this is going to be a doddle, it's not a doddle, where is, oh, it's probably all gone into the vacuumulator anyway, at least we don't have to worry about mobs spawning on top, because, you know, this is um this is peaceful out here. 
Okay, we need a vector plate there. And we need one in that corner. The only problem is... Actually, no, we can put a vector plate place facing either one of the spikes. That's fine. All right, let's get you back. And this side. Other corner. Actually, no, this can go... No. Uh, no, that's not going to work, is it? All right, if I move you out the way and you um, vector plate put you that way I need an escape route But that you can tell I didn't really think it through that well spike there the other spike must have gone into the vacuum later yep we have spikes we have nether bricks we have stuff all right that should be okay got that in we just need to put in the other spike whatever that is all right so we have all the vectors pointing towards the spikes no matter where oh we might need to put spikes on the ceiling because you'll get um what do you call them spiders we need spikes on the ceiling. I'm glad I remembered that. So let's go make some more spikes. Uh, not there, there. All right, iron spikes, make four more. And we need a ladder or something to get up. So if we put on the ceiling or here, yeah, there is fine. And here. There's something kind of therapeutic about building a mob farm. And... Ah, alright, let's move you out the way. Put one in the middle. And one here. Right. But building, yeah, building is very therapeutic. Well, especially when you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, it's a bit of a, bit of a faff. But once you know what you're doing, then it's fine. Okay, we need dark glass. Ooh, what's that? Biomarker. Okay. Dark glass. Yeah, dark glass. You'd have dark ineffable glass, which means you can go into it. But that needs a moonstone, a moonstone... Uh, lunar reactive dust and we need a resonator which has you need antimony for that and I have no idea how you get that um, from antimony trioxide fission multi-block okay fission multi-block is fission casing yeah we 
it's a bit too much just to get uh, glass. So we need thickened glass, which is sandy glass, which is smelted. Sandy glass is two sand and two glass. Right, so we want four sandy glass. You want that? Do we have black dye though? Now I'm thinking about it, I'm not 100%. Let's, well, let's see what's going on anyway. Right, sandy glass, that's glowing. Uh, dark glass, black dye, black artificial dye, pulverized charcoal. Okay, that works. Can you use pulverized coal as well? Uh, charcoal, ink sac, black pigment, black dye. All right, just charcoal. We have charcoal. All right, where is our pulverizer? Furnace generator, compactor, pulverizer. Okay, those two should be smelting. There you go. And we only want two. Okay. Well, one will give you two anyway, that's fine. That gives you two dark glass. We want that. Put the glass in, put the task screen in, another rack. Oh, and oars. Okay, so if you put the oh no shift dark glass and if I turn on F seven Oh you can't see how dark it is, but it's dark in there. Mobs should be able to spawn. Right, so the last thing we have to do uh pick it was in my hand. The last thing we have to do is hook it up to this so there's our output we need cables item cables do i have any on me i have seven which is awesome <laughs> you mean say so i didn't even put it on straight <laughs> Oh my word. All right, let's fix that because that is going to drive me nuts. That will drive me nuts. Um, <laughs> oh, good. This is this is definitely comedy of errors today. I told you we needed a bit of lighthearted relief before we go to Atum. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is the stuff that was already in there. 35? Oh, that must have been from when I died. Okay. That didn't make any sense. That must have been from when I died. Uh, two on that side. And where is... Did I put the crescent hammer back? I did. I don't know why the crescent hammer does that, that um, disappearing trick when you use it on store, storage drawers, but it does. Uh, right, item ducks. And do I have any servos on me? I do reinforce servo, harden servo. Which one's better? I think reinforced is better. I can't remember, but it's fine. No, I put it on the wrong end, haven't I? I need it on the other end. Oh, and I bet you it's... Yeah, the vacuum vacuumulator has picked those up. Nope. Uh, 
Where did my servos go? Oh, there you go. It did pick it up. So the vacuumulator works in a very wide area. And then um, redstone, turn it off. And we just let it go. So, drop of evil. It's over here. Turn off F7. Uh, no, not in there. It was in here. We only have one drop of evil. <sighs> dangerous stuff, this dangerous stuff. Alright, so we have... This is completely encased. There's nothing that can get in or out. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that rippling noise, but that means that everything is, everything's been turned and we should get mobs spawning in here. If we have a look, oh, you can hear them. Let's see what do we get. Okay, cool. Arrows, bones, loot boxes. I don't know what mobs are going to be spawning. But that's fine. Gunpowder. Is that gunpowder? Yeah, I'm guessing that's gunpowder. But we've got we got a mob farm. It's not too bad. Not bad at all. So you can leave that going in the background. That can get stuff. There's a spider. But it's been got. So the vector plates push everything towards the spikes, as you, as I demonstrated earlier. So of course I meant to do that, and yeah. So I demonstrated how the every the vector plates push everything towards the spikes, and that the spikes have, um, the mobs have no chance against it. So as you can see, everything is. Everything's spawning. We've got Endermen in there as well. Awesome. That is absolutely awesome. That means we should get some Ender Pearls. Although we've got an Enderman, but no, no Ender Pearls. But that's okay. I might add some more, um, some more drawers around. But I think we should be okay for now. We're getting string, we're getting all kinds of things. Oh, this is awesome. I'm very proud of myself. So we should get loads of loot crates for, um... With... Yeah, we got 20... We got 24 already! Oh, and you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, um, there is a side quest for killing mobs. Is it going to go up? No. It's not going up. I think I have to kill them myself. Darn. They're saying, yeah, we could have gotten this side quest, but now I have to go in and kill them myself. But as you can see, the dark glass is not letting anything in. Well, I don't actually, I don't know if you can see it because, you know, this is YouTube videos, so it's quite dark. But basically, the dark glass... Um doesn't let any light in so it's dark enough for everything to to spawn oh that's i'm quite pleased with myself we've got one super one super loot crate and nothing else and also with the drop of evil mobs will spawn regardless of proximity to you okay can something oh there you go yeah so Usually you need like 24 blocks for mobs to spawn and yeah, they'll just spawn wherever. So drops of evil are very evil things. So, um, 
that's going to be it for this week. Next week we go back to our regular scheduled programming and we will start crafting um, the scarab so that we can go to a tomb, which is not fun. That's all I can say. It's not fun. Not really looking forward to it, but there you go. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.